All right. All right. This is the college football championship game recap. What it week fourteen. We're Skyping it tonight. I'm I'm home with the children's. So they are uh they are with their grandparents currently. And we've got just a little bit to be able to jump into this thing. So, Chris, let's dive in. You ready? Come on. Yep. All right. So let's uh let's talk about Friday night first. Okay. The MAC championship game, Buffalo and Northern Illinois. Yeah, not a not a lot of talk about it, but we'll jump into it for two seconds. Buffalo is up twenty nine to ten in this game. They are a four point favorite. And they lose thirty to twenty nine. Now, did you watch any of this? No, because I was watching the uh, the Pac twelve championship game. Now, I, I was watching both, and yeah, Northern Illinois coming back in this game. Buffalo uh, is a ten win team, and I don't know what happened. Like I, they they just forgot how to play offense, <laughs> forgot how to play defense. And anybody that had Buffalo minus three and a half or minus four is really irritated. So I am one of those people that had that. So I'm irritated because uh, <laughs> Buffalo like dominated the MAC this year. They lost to Ohio. They they lost to like they got dominated by Ohio. They got dominated by Army, but they killed everybody else. Yeah. And Northern Illinois is just kind of a eh, okay, whatever. So. And we the Mac champions, what they are? Yeah, they are the Mac champions. You got that right. That's, uh, we'll that's, jump that's that. what we'll, they are. <laughs> we'll we'll jump into the game that that you got into, which yeah. was uh, the Pac-12 championship game on Friday night. Points were ratcheting out like uh, like we were in a <laughs> in a major drought there. It was um, it was bad. It was really <laughs> it was boring not, to watch. There not were good. There were dozens of people there. <laughs> the only touch. Yeah, that's right. There are dozens. Here's what's insane. So we're going to talk about things that have nothing to do with football for a minute. Why the hell is this game being played in Silicon Valley? All right. You you can't get a cup of coffee in Silicon Valley for $30. You could have bought a ticket to this game for $28. Yeah. Like that's, that's ridiculous. Um. That well, it's the same music. stadium that they are that they're having the national championship game. Yes, and the stadium I'm sure is beautiful, and I'm sure the national championship will sell it out. Like that's a little different, but but they really need the Raiders to hurry up and get that stadium built in Vegas. They've got a team in Utah. They now have Colorado in the Pac-12. Like they just need to embrace this, move this championship game to Las Vegas, and then it doesn't matter what teams go; they're going to sell it out. People will show up. I don't know if they'll sell it out, even if oh, it's in absolutely. Vegas. Yep, totally. I would have gone. I'd have gone just to say, oh, baby, got to gotta go. Got to go <laughs> cover a game. I'm out. You are not going to a Pac-12 championship game in Vegas. You try, would go to try Vegas. Try, yeah, and I'd buy a ticket to the game because that's how I get the tax write-off. I don't have the ticket. I don't get the write-off. <laughs> I know, dummy. And I probably I, would go to the game. I can only gamble so much. I gamble at the game. I'm, I'm good. Yeah, My money's okay, okay, I see what you're I saying. I absolutely would have went to this game. I love both these coaches. I'd have went to this game. I think that both of these teams, like the fan bases in the Pac-12, do not care enough for this to be off campus right now. Here's, like, I think here's the biggest problem: in a league in which the SEC, the most hard-headed, structured tradition league has embraced the you got to score and you got to go all offense because, yes, defense used to win championships, but I don't know if it does anymore. Like, you need some defense, but you can't just have these three to ten ball games. The Pac-12 has used to be that. They used to be an all-offensive side, and, yeah. and they've kind of gotten away from that. And uh, in the championship game, the only touchdown scored was a pick six. It was a defensive score. They didn't have a single offensive score. Yeah. I I mean I'm I'm with you 100 percent It, it I was watched boring. It. it was rough. I mean I it, I wrapped Christmas presents and 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 watched <laughs> it. Like literally that's what I did Friday night. I I sat over at uh, at my dad's house and watched it and you know, mid third quarter we're both just going you wanna 
play like dominoes or something? Like, yeah. You know, yeah. What, what are we doing? We are wasting yeah. our Let's lives. Let's go outside and, and, and bet which fly jumps on the bug zapper. I mean, literally <laughs> anything's better than that. Anything. Yeah, yeah it was. Oh, 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 we lost Chris. Almost. We're good. We, I'm back. Oh, we got him back. It looks good. Hey, it looks I, better I, than it did. I literally just knocked the the whole thing over. That's all. It was just a big ogre move. Well, it, it worked, and it looks great. So, <laughs> oh, really? Like I don't know what to, on my little screen. It looks exactly the way it did before. So. Okay, well, it looks it looks great now. I don't I don't know how you did it, but I'll I'll show you later. <laughs> well, next time I'll just knock it down and throw it back up. That I usually good. look better after I've fallen a couple of times. So. That's good. That's good. All right. Now, on Saturday, we don't have a whole lot of games to get through. The 11 a.m. games, uh, we had East Carolina, NC State. East Carolina's coach got fired before this game. Yeah, uh, not important. So, game doesn't matter. The game is completely Yeah, that irrelevant. game doesn't matter. Virginia Tech, Marshall. Virginia Tech is going to another game. Not important, yep. but yeah, they made a bowl game. Bowl game. That's it. Um, Drake and Iowa State. Iowa State only beat them 27-24. I don't know. Doesn't matter. What nobody cared there, about that game. But who cares? That uh, was a game nobody wanted to play. Exactly. Oklahoma, well, I think Drake probably wanted to play. Well, yeah, uh, Jake, Jake wanted that check. Yeah. Make, make sure that check clears. Yep. Oklahoma and Texas. That was good a game. good I thought this was a really fun game. I watched every snap of it. I really it thought it was fun. a lot of fun. It, yep. Now, you could still tell, like, Sam Ellinger played well. Um, but you could tell that he was still hurting. Like you could tell he was still oh, injured. Not a hundred percent at all. Yeah. And, and that definitely caught up to him. There were some missed throws. Uh, it missed everything. Um, Kyler Murray, I think probably won the Heisman trophy with this game. Like, I, I, Ooh, I, I don't know. He, he definitely made New York a little interesting. Yeah, he it, so he was 25 out of 34, 379 yards, three touchdowns, uh, 10 rushes for 39 yards. He looked good. He led them to a uh, to a championship. They got revenge for their only loss on the season. And now, as everybody should know by now, Oklahoma is in the playoff uh, because of that win. So this is the first game that Oklahoma looked like they played defense all year. If they play a ton... But they didn't give up thirty. I mean, that, I don't. I don't know that, that they played an entire team, an entire game. They didn't give up thirty. Yeah, so, I don't. I mean, uh, all right. So against Army, they only gave up twenty one. But well, yeah, I but mean, they were that's barely what Army beat does. Army too, though. Uh, FAU, they gave up fourteen in the first game of the season. Uh, but it, like nobody that's that's decent, right? That's right. So and now Army is a different style. I'm not saying that Army's not decent, but. Uh, well, that they almost lost thing. that game. You can't brag about only giving up 21 to them when that yeah. 21 almost beats you. Yeah, it's because you only scored 28 in overtime. Yeah, that's right. So. In overtime, I'd say, you, that's it. You got the uh, touchdown, they got nothing. That was it. Yeah, that was it. That was it. Uh, Oklahoma looked good. You know, there was a little bit of defense here. I was I was surprised. Uh, overall, it was a fun game. It's a very, yeah. very interesting game. it was game. a good game. Um. Next up, uh, all right, so South Carolina, Akron, nobody cares. Appalachian nope. State, Louisiana Lafayette, Sun Belt Championship uh, for Appalachian State. Now we will see if Scott Satterfield, the uh, the App State coach, is going to be the new head coach at Louisville. They have set their sights on him since Jeff Brom turned them down. We haven't gotten a chance to talk about that, but uh, that is that is who they're going after. Uh, let's talk about your boy, Bill Clark. Okay. A lot of I fun. Will I did watch. I did watch a lot of this game too. Yeah, um, um, he they they played a really good game. Um, it was it was it was exactly what I thought it was going to be. It was back and forth, close game the entire game. Um, no, not one team ran away with anything. And anytime you're in a one score game against Bill Clark led team, I, I'm going to take a chance that he's going to end up on top at the end of the game. Uh, if you were in a championship game. And you lose the game because you have twelve men on the field on a punt return. How bad do you feel? Like, are you pissed at your coaches if you were a player? If you are the coaches, are you mad at whatever player didn't know he wasn't supposed to be in? Like, there, there, there is a, there is a, 
a combination of people that are at fault and at blame. I have no idea who shoulders it other than it all falls on the head coach. When you have a mental error like that, the head coach is the only one that's responsible for making sure everybody does their job. Yeah. And and Rick Stock still Yeah, I mean it's on him. Yeah. I mean <laughs> UAB got out with one. But you give them an inch, they're gonna take it. You got that right. They're gonna they, make and- you regret that. Their, their football program was dead for two years, and in their second year back, they win 10 games just, in a conference say, game. Just two years ago. It's not like it was dead for two years, you know, eight years ago when they're rebuilding. No, dead for I two mean, years, and then in last their year, second year. Yeah, last year they made a bowl game. This year they win 10 games. Yeah, and they went 8-5 eight and five, eight and five last year in a trip to the Bahamas Bowl. Yep. This year I think they're going to, what, Boca Raton? Boca Raton. Yep. That's that's not bad. No, like I, if, when, if you're a UAB you're a conference fan, champion, no, you're a conference champion, and you won ten games. That's if Bill Clark is not getting job offers, people sh- AD should be fired. Yeah. I've been saying it for two years. I've I've just been saying it for two two years. He's he's one of the best coaches in all of college football. Yeah, he's I agree. Stuck in Birmingham. <laughs> I think he liked it in Birmingham. Uh, the big game, Cal Stanford, Stanford looked decent, 23 to 13. Cal played uh, pretty good defense. Uh, I didn't get to see any of this because I don't have the Pac-12 network and shame on you, Larry Scott and that whole bunch for not making it where we can watch these games. I'm still pissed about this. The, the Pac-12 has been the most disappointing, biggest farce of a conference we've ever seen this season, this season. They they have the debacle with the with the Wazoo uh, uh, Trojans game where they just completely bet on the wrong horse. They openly throw a game because they think USC is their power, and, and they were com- dead wrong. They've made so many mistakes with how they put together their their television rights and and stuff. It, it's just one thing after another. They yeah. cannot do anything right. No, it's it's asinine. It's just asinine. The the way that they do this. The championship they, had less than a hundred people there. Like this is bad. <laughs> they, you that know what the announced attendance fi- was? They be fired. The announced attendance was thirty five thousand for well, the championship how many tickets game. Tickets were sold. Uh, and I'm sure that was all to sponsors and things like that. Yeah, well, that's not just tickets sold. That's like also giveaways. Like giveaways, yes. That so everything that they did, they only got thirty five thousand tickets out for a seventy five thousand. How many tickets were scanned at the door? I I would hundreds, guess hundreds, hundreds. I I would guess somewhere around ten thousand. Nah, no chance. There's ten thousand people there. Yeah. It was like it was like me and like fifty of my closest friends. That's it. <laughs> it, it was terrible. Was, it was really bad. It was no, that awful. that guy. I mean that that conference not only. That, but their conference like headquarters is hemorrhaging money. It's been like eleven million dollars a year on like their offices and stuff, and they're behind bills. How is that guy not fired right now? Like, how have they not all got to get? Like, this is not a football thing. You don't have to wait until the end of a football season. He's an athletic director. You could fire him any day. Just just walk in the door and say, "Hey, you're a commissioner. You're out." You're gone. We're hiring somebody. Well, the reason that he's not gone is because the 80s and the school presidents, uh, they were sold what he was selling. Like, he got all of them to agree and sign off. He doesn't make a move without them signing off on this stuff. I I get that, but he's the one selling it. So if he sells them a bill of goods and they're like, hey, this is not what you promised, then you got to go. Then you got to walk him out the door. I mean, look, he's got a contract. But I would That's assume right. once once the contract is done, then I would assume Coaches he's probably have contracts done. too. You buy these contracts out. I can't believe that commissioners make that much damn money. Well, he's the only one that does. I'm going to bet he's losing them more money than he makes. Oh, absolutely. No, Then, he, then he you makes... buy his contract out and you fire him and you fix it. Larry Scott makes $4.8 million a year. Greg Sankey makes one point nine million. He he make he makes almost five million a year to be the commissioner 
of a conference? Of, yes. Yeah. Uh, 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 Jim Delaney I is second at two point four million. I, I want that job. I the, want that the job. The rent is like six point nine million dollars. Uh, what was it? Annually or monthly? It was annual. Annual. No, it can be annual, monthly, annually. It ain't that yeah. damn expensive. So six point nine million annually because they got like this, and it's a TV studio and all this, and it's set up right in. Uh, a high traffic area in Silicon Valley. Why and, is it in Silicon Valley? The most well, because they thought they would use that to the country. They thought they'd use it to establish connections with like these major tech firms and yeah, because uh, tech firms are big sports guys. That, exactly. That's not a Venn diagram that goes into each other. I promise <laughs> it you, it's sense. not. No, it's a, but, you know, but you know where you should put their headquarters in Las Vegas. No, Move it to forget Las Vegas. Vegas. No, put it oh, somewhere smaller. Oh, Way no, smaller. Property's cheap. Property's real cheap in Vegas, dude. Well, property's is, then, crazy cheap in Vegas. I, if if that is the case, then that would make a little bit more sense. Because and you're not and you're not biased to anybody. You're not worried about oh, you're too close to this school. You're too. No, we're in a city that doesn't even have what. We're in a state, and none of our schools are in this state. Yeah. But That's, it's pretty the, close to all of them. And with it's the a SEC, plane ride to all of them. The SEC has their offices in Birmingham. Oh, God. We're not getting it. No, stop and, comparing. No, we're no, we're no, bitching I, about the Big 12, Pac-12. No, no, no. We're, we're talking about the Pac-12. But no, I'm talking about the difference in, in rent prices. The SEC's well, yeah, office. Birmingham's a toilet, Gary. That's what no I'm offense, saying. No offense to the good people of Birmingham. It costs $300,000 annually. For the SEC offices, that's too much. That's too. There's nothing in Birmingham that costs three hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> it's like, a like, twenty-five year like old building in downtown the Birmingham. Mo- the, the most expensive houses in Birmingham are like five hundred k. You buy it, you own it, you own it forever. Just buy them a house on one of those Robert Trent Jones golf courses. It's like a like a ten thousand square foot home. You're good. <laughs> Why is the go. SEC paying three hundred k a year? For an offer, that's that's ridiculous too. Um, Stanford Cal, back to that. Uh, Bryce, oh, that was a terrible played. game. It was a yeah, bad it, game. It well, I mean, it was you know twenty three thirteen. Stanford wins, but Bryce Love got some run. Twenty two carries, seventy four yards, no touchdowns. But you know he looked all right. And and the biggest thing on it was that uh, Paulson Adebo Adebo. The defensive back that had two picks, mm-hmm. like Cal couldn't get out of their own way. They couldn't stop throwing picks. And so that's uh, that's how that one wound up. Memphis UCF, AAC best, championship game. Best game of the weekend. Yeah. If I watched. I watched. I know it happened at the same time as the Alabama-Georgia game. I watched every snap of this, and I had the Bama game going on an iPad. This, this was the best game of the weekend. Nobody watched it, I'm sure. They all missed out. This game was unbelievable. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, I will. I will tell you this. Uh, Memphis getting up on these teams and then dropping the games yep. is just gut wrenching for Tiger fans. I can only imagine. Right, thirty eight to twenty one at the half. Memphis leads, and then they only score three points in the second half. And they give up, uh, what, 31 points? They give uh, yeah, up 31 30, to yeah. three. Yep. That is absurd. The defensive coaches, I'm not, I'm not exaggerating because I watched this game. The defensive coaching for UCF, we joke about how UCF plays no defense. They can't stop anybody. Can't stop. Listen, this is a Memphis offense that can score on anybody in the country. All right? What this team does, they make adjustments. If you go back and look at all their games, second half, Everybody scores on them in the first half. UCF in the second half of their football games, they bring everybody down. Everybody comes back down to earth. Some people still scored a lot on them, but but everybody came back down to earth. And and that's exactly what they did. They took a high-powered, explosive Memphis offense that's real good and said, you don't go anymore. You don't go. Yeah. Uh, and what's nuts is – at Memphis in the first half, Daryl Henderson had ten carries for two hundred and seven rushing yep. yards. That dude is and a beast. It, it was just ridiculous. 
And then in the second half, they didn't let him do anything. No, it's he all ended, and that's all defensive scheming. He still got touches. He couldn't get yards. Oh yeah, he he got he got six more touches in the second half for three yards for nothing for nothing. Yeah, yep. Yeah. No, that's it. That that's all defensive scheming. They tackled him behind the line of scrimmage over and over and over. They could not run the football in the second half. They went yeah. into the to, to halftime. Their coaches said, "We're going to stop this," and they came out and they stopped it. I mean, and they did the same thing in Memphis, but we just thought, oh, it was raining, and that's why they were able to stop the offense. Man, no, I, I think they did the same thing. I think they went into halftime, and they said, this is how they're beating us. Let's let them stop beating us. Yeah. And offensively, we just keep doing what we're doing. Yeah. I mean, it, we it scored was, 25, 30 every half. We're going to win these games. And they you got it. You got it. And, and that's exactly what they did. That's I mean, they, a really they came well out. coached team. I, I'm tired of listening to all the reasons why all these big teams are better than them. Yeah, some big teams are better than them. Are they the best team in the country? No, but but to everybody run from them. No, they they they. At some point in time, somebody needs to be forced to play them. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Um, last four games. Let's go on and run through these. Alabama, Georgia. Great uh, game. Third most watched game since 2006. Not including bowl games. Uh, 10.5 rating, which is equal to about 17-ish million people. Um, LSU Alabama in 2011 was the highest rated at 11.9. And then Alabama Florida in 2009, the the Tim Tebow crying thing, was the second most watched. The LSU this, one, that was a regular season game. we got to remember that. That's, that's, that's what I'm saying. That's game. Yeah. yeah, it wasn't even a championship game. Like, LSU-Alabama, right. that was hyped up game of the century, number one versus number two. That's right. Uh, and, and, I mean, it, it, if you're a football fan, it lived up to the hype. Yeah. Uh, if, you're, if you're looking for touchdowns, it did not live up to the hype. But No, but but I think you could, we've seen many a defensive struggle games be awesome games. Yeah, that was every, an awesome every game. Every possession could, could win or lose somebody the game. When the yeah. stakes are that high – no, no, no. Those aren't boring games. I, just because something's low scoring doesn't mean it's boring. There's a difference between what we saw in the Pac-12 championship game and that. Yeah. Way different games. I agree. I agree. Well, you also understand the talent that's on the field. Like every Correct. hit is is vicious. Uh, you can see the guys making plays, and it's not just uh, offenses that can't you know do anything. It is really good teams, and that's that's, right. that's what that was. But Either way, back to this game, uh, the Jalen Hurts story, amazing, fantastic, wonderful for him, uh, good for Bama, good for, you know, just it, everything. Georgia, I believe, probably should have been in the – we'll get to the playoff stuff later. Um, but it, this was on Kirby Smart. Kirby Smart yeah. lost this game. Correct. Like, this was not Alabama winning the game. They, they did what they had to do, um, given the opportunities, but – Georgia gave them the opportunities because Kirby Smart absolutely screwed this one up. Until until I'm proven otherwise, Kirby Smart is standing right now a fraud. He's a complete fraud. He's like 32 and nine. This unbelievable record as a head coach in in three years. That's a, that's a great job. Okay, congratulations to you for doing that good of a job. All those 32 wins are all fraudulent. He hasn't beaten anybody decent at all. Okay? And every time he plays a good team that gets him on the ropes in the second half, he just craps all over himself. He, he screws up. The coaches screw up. The play calling is terrible. It happened at Auburn. It happened at LSU. It's happened twice against Alabama. I don't know why everybody's clamoring to see that game a third time. Because if you play it a third time, do you really think Georgia's going to get up and get a big lead the first time, a th- the third time like they did the first two? Because I don't. And if they don't get that big lead, there's no way they're coming back on Alabama if Bama ever gets out in front of them. That's just ridiculous to think they would. They're going to fold up like they did against LSU. He's supposed to be a defensive genius. He hasn't shut anybody down all year. The worst offense in the SEC, my LSU Tigers, beat him like a drum. They scored like 29 points. They kicked six field goals. If they just get two touchdowns out of those six field goals, they beat them. They, they hang 50 on them. Yeah. Defensive genius? Are you kidding me? He's a complete fraud. What he is, 
is an incredible salesman. That guy can recruit with the absolute best. You know what? Somebody's going to have to learn to coach those boys because he sure as hell ain't doing it. Well, and, and if I wonder what the team ends up looking like if Mel Tucker is indeed the Colorado head coach. Uh, and we'll, we'll know more about that, I would imagine, quickly this week. Uh, let's move off of that one. Uh, do you want to go to Boise? You want to talk Boise? It was a good game. We'll talk Boise. It was a better that, game than the other three game, the other two games. I, yeah, that was the best game of the night. That Not was a snow field. That, that like, was a real good game. Oh, it was a lot of fun. Um, I'll, and it I'll went to watch overtime. that game all day. I watched yes. that all day. Long. That's it great was, football. In in the snow, you couldn't even see the blue turf. No, it was awesome. It was white. It, it was so oh, weird. Oh, it's so much fun. So much fun. Uh, I mean, Fresno looked like they were the the less affected team by the snow. That was surprising. I this is this is this is the dumb part of my brain, and, and people will probably say that the whole part of my brain is dumb part, but that's fine. I I think the snow always. And this is because I'm watching it from TV, and I'm not in the field playing. The snow always helps a team with white. Like if I'm Boise and I, you know how they have those white, all white uniforms. Yeah. Boise and I, uh, we're calling an audible. I don't care what uniform we said. We're, we're wearing the all whites. I need the all whites right now. And you got to wear color. I want you to wear <laughs> blue, 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 blue. I'm going to be able to see you anywhere you go. You can't see me. I, I, I'm with you. That's I'm part of our I home agree. field advantage, right? Isn't that part of our home field That's it's what uh it's what LSU does, right? <laughs> if LSU ever had snow, it'd make a whole lot of uh, sense. Now, well, as I was gonna say, Baton Rouge is never if LSU if Baton Rouge, we have much bigger Oh Lord, Chris, I'm problems. losing you can I'm yeah, right here, bro. Okay, you're still you're still good. Yeah. You're good. I'm here. Nothing our on my our screen was freezing up and, and starting to do all kind of mess. I don't know what was happening. I wonder if it's your internet. Because you're Man, rolling I hope smooth not. as can be on my end. Let's see. I mean, I, it, it says everything's good. I've, I've got my internet meter okay. up. So, um, good. So yeah, I mean, good. we're either way, either way. But just before we end up losing anything, if we do, if it's my internet, then whatever. Uh, we'll start Keep off going. with Clemson and Pitt in the rain. Nasty, disgusting. Pitt couldn't even cover. Uh, they thirty point couldn't even cover the thirty. Yeah, I mean that's just just sad. Uh, Pickett threw like Pitt's quarterback four out of sixteen for eight yards. <laughs> for, for like I was about to say he didn't need double digits. It's so crazy. Yeah, uh, four out of sixteen, eight yards, one interception. Uh, they were able to run the ball some. Not a lot. These conference championship games are a joke. They really are. Like yeah. the SEC gave us a great game. The 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 Big Twelve gave us a great game. I, I totally believe in what Dan Wetzel is selling that we just need to blow up the conference championship because these games are all terrible. They're terrible, man. They're well, just no, so no. bad. I will say this: like last year, um, Oklahoma like boat raced TCU, but but we thought it was going to be a pretty good matchup. Uh, Ohio State, Wisconsin, pretty good game. Like, if Wisconsin wins that, they're in the playoff. Alabama's not. Like, you know, you had Auburn and Georgia last year. Winner of that was going to the playoff. The loser was not. Like, you had play-in games last year. This year. That's right. But but if we we blow the whole thing up, we never have U.S. uh, uh, Clemson versus Pitt. We never have that. And we never should. Yeah. No, you're it's right. It's so bad. It's so bad. As, as much so as I bad. love boys from, our, our boys from West Lot. That's it's what I was, I was You can't have a team that lost to Akron playing for a conference championship. That, nor, I, you and I both thought Northwestern would have at least a fighter's chance in this game. Just just have some heart, man. And and couldn't even stop them from scoring the last yeah, touchdown. It's just deep. It's, yeah, it's just defense, man. This Ohio State team, they're clicking. They're clicking right now. Yeah. Now, you're you're right. You're right. I was actually really proud of how Northwestern played. I wanted to cover bad, but they made some big plays. Offensive. They did some things that I was like, hey, I see what you're doing. That's a that's a good, good 
Yeah. Yeah. So now they they had their chances. They had a shot. And you know, they're down 24 to 7 at the half. They come out, they score 14 points in the second half. They they draw it close to 24-21. Right. And then they're in field goal range to uh to tie the game. Yeah. And 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 then lose 45-24. Turnovers. Just, just utter disaster. Um, all right, so so here's the deal. Here's what we are going to do. We're gonna go ahead and shut this one off. Uh, we are gonna come back with more stuff on Tuesday, Tuesday evening. Um, because my parents have my youngest son, and they will be here in about two minutes. So there you go. We, I'm gonna go on and, and do dad duty while my wife is out of town. And Chris, you and I will will do some more videos uh, when we're actually in studio. That sound good? Sweet. Yeah, but all right, we can do that. Guys. We we got NFL stuff, man. We got a whole bunch to get into, like uh, like Mike McCarthy getting fired. So, <laughs> so either way, let's uh let's jump out and Chris, you and I'll talk more. All right. See you. Bud. All right, later, buddy.